Sound of Music was an audio specialty store that opened in 1966. It was rebranded under its current name of Best Buy in 1983. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest videos. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to a regular scheduled program. Kristen, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, look, it doesn't get any better than that, right? So, is there anything else? Hey, what if we tech out the lower level? Lower level? Yes, look at this. Follow me. Okay. All right. Okay, first of all, amazing. Yes. Second of all, I'm thinking two words. Ambient lighting. Boom! Need a work for you space? Best Buy Home Experts provide free recommendations online, in-store, or at home. In 1966, Richard Schultz and a partner established Sound of Music, Inc. and opened their first store in St. Paul, Minnesota. They attempted to capture a share of the Twin Cities home and car stereo retail market. First year sales reached $173,000. Four years later, Schultz bought out his partner and proceeded to expand his retail chain. His product line, however, was limited to audio components until the early 1980s. By the time Schultz bought out his partner, Sound of Music had three stores. By 1978, Sound of Music operated nine stores throughout Minnesota. In 1981, Roseville, Minnesota was hit by a tornado. The tornado had caused extensive damage, 83 people were injured, and one person was killed. In 1981, the Sound of Music location, at the time the largest and most profitable Sound of Music store, was in the path of that tornado. The store's roof was sheared off and the showroom destroyed, but the storeroom was left intact. In response, Schultz decided to have a tornado sale of damaged and excess stock in the damaged store's parking lot. He poured the remainder of his marketing budget into advertising the sale, promising best buys on everything. Sound of Music made more money during that four-day sale than it did in a typical month. Schultz had come to realize that there wasn't much of a feature in a market glutted with vendors serving a shrinking audience of 15 to 18 year olds with limited resources. He figured selling only audio components in an ever-changing market wasn't going to sustain growth in his business. His ability to alter the course of his company was enhanced by a week-long management seminar he attended in 1981. Departing the seminar as a reformed controller, Schultz saw the dynamic possibilities that lay ahead and turned them into a reality. His first step was to expand Sound of Music's offerings to include appliances and VCRs. Schultz saw sales climb quickly. In 1982, revenues reached $9.3 million. In 1983, with seven stores and $10 million in annual sales, Sound of Music was renamed Best Buy Company, Inc. Later that year, Best Buy opened its first superstore in Burnsville, Minnesota. The Burnsville location featured a high-volume, low-priced business model, which was borrowed partially from Schultz's tornado sale in 1981. In its first year, the Burnsville store outperformed all other Best Buy stores combined. Best Buy would go on to be a huge multinational consumer electronics retailer, outliving their competitors such as Silo, Circuit City, Fry's Electronics, and The Good Guys. The demise of these stores have left Best Buy one of the last ones standing. But that is for another video. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.